This is third grade Go, Th Go Math lesson 1.5, and today we're going to use properties to add. Um, there's two properties we're going to use today, and those are the commutative property and the associative property. Now, with the commutative property, um, you could change the order of the numbers um, in the problem. So you see on example number one, it says 34 plus 62 plus 51 plus 46. 34 is still first, but they move 46 next to 34 because they see the 4 and the 6 add up to make 10. Um, and likewise, they see the 4 and the 6 also all add up to make 10 here. Now I'm going to write out uh, number 2 here and another and another problem, probably number 4, um, to just show you example um, going through each step to explain that. So let's move on over here uh, to number 2, where we have 27 plus 68 plus 43. So the first property I'm going to use is the commutative property. I'm going to move these numbers around so I can make sure that they can add up easier um, and compute easier for when I add. And so I could do it more quickly and efficiently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 27 first still. I'm going to put 43 because I notice 3 and 7 go together. And I'm going to put 60 on the bottom. Now, I could have put 60 on the top and moved these numbers, so it's really up to you and what pre preference and how you see the numbers. So, um, from there, I'm going to add up the numbers that I see go together. So, I see on this side, 7 and 3 make 10. I know my 10's facts, so that makes 10 there. And then on the, on the 10 side, I see 6 and 4 go together and make 10 as well. So, I know 10 plus 8, because these are already used up. So 10 plus 8 makes 18, and I just remembered I need to regroup um, my 10. Uh, so I have 1 10 plus 2 10s is 3 10s, um, but there's then there's 10 10s, so it's 13. So 1 plus 2 um, plus 10. Not to confuse anybody when I said 10s there. So that's 138. Now a way I could use the associative property um, if maybe I'm a little bit more higher level thinking, I can also notice um, I can just add these numbers up together. So instead of maybe going through all these steps, maybe I'm real quick at math and I can just add these together. And I know I make a new 10 here, so I'm just going to regroup that in my head. This would make 70 because 40, tw uh, 40 plus 20 is 60, 7 plus 3 is 10, which makes 70. This is the associative property because I changed these numbers to make a new number, but it was added with these numbers so the answer will still stay the same. So now I have 70 plus 68, a much easier problem to add. 0 plus 8 is 8, and 7 plus 6 is 13. I'm going to do one more in case that was a little confusing um, and show you how I ordered this problem using number 4. 74 plus 35 plus 16 plus 45. So, um, I took some thought and I thought about how should I order these numbers so that they can add up easily. And I see fives and I see four and a six. So I know those numbers go together, four and six and five and five. So I'm going to try to order those numbers easily so that um, in a way that they can easily work together um, in this problem here when I write it vertically. Uh, so I have 16, then I'll put 74, so I know six and four go together. I'm going to have 3 and 5, or 35, I should say, and 45. Now, I also paired 70, um, 74 and 35 together because I see the 7 and the 3 paired together well here. So now I just go, instead of just adding straight down, I pair these numbers up. Because 5 and 5 make 10, and 6 and 4 make 10, and 10 plus 10 is 20. So I'm going to regroup that, put a 2 up here, not a 1, because I have two 10s. Um, and then, again, I saw another set of 10 here. So I have 10 plus 2 is 12, 13 plus 4 more is 17. So that would equal 170 when I add this all together. Now, um, again, I could use the associative property and group these numbers if I'm a little bit like I said a little bit higher level thinking I see this is a group of 10 like we saw over here and then add a 10 um, 
I regrouped that, so 7 plus 1 is 8, and then re when I regrouped it, I would have 90. So 16 plus 74 is 90, and I see 35, I know 35 and 35 make 70, so if I add 10 more by 45, that would be 80. Or again, I could just say 5 plus 5 is 10, regroup that, 7 plus 4 is 7, I mean, sorry, 3 plus 4 is 7, adding another one would make um, 8, or 80 again. Just trying to show you my understand my thinking. And now I basically have 0 plus 0 and 9 plus 8, which is 17. It gets the same answer. Using the associative and um, moving these numbers around uses the commutative property. And that is how we use properties to add.